And they actually believed you when you told them that? <laughs> what a bunch of idiots. <laughs> All right, Gavin. Hey, I've got to go. Got things to do. All right, bye. This freaking guy. <laughs> In tonight's news, California has completely gone to hell and is now sacrificing children. And in Portland, there's been a surge of peaceful violence. All this and more in our California and Portland special report. We'll be putting a positive spin on evil people because we were never held as children. In our top story, America's second most trusted man, St. Gavin Newsom, is being taken down by conspiracy theorists who believe he has harmed California. The Recall Gavin effort now has over 2 million signatures, which is 600,000 more than they need in order to recall Newsom. In an expression of very characteristic honesty, St. Newsom said his recall is without merit and is only being done because of political reasons. Newsom, California's first used car salesman to pretend to be governor, is in good spirits and is reportedly still using the same amount of hair gel as usual. According to forensic experts, Newsom's leadership is exactly why the Corleone family never let Fredo be in charge. Will Newsom ever get to the number one spot of America's most trusted man? We'll see. Hey, bring up a picture of America's most trusted man. Oh, no, not that picture, um, the other one. Yeah, that's right. In a recent poll on some idiot's YouTube channel, viewers were simply asked, do you trust the good doctor? With 84,000 votes cast, 94% said no and an astounding 6% said yes. So as you can see, public trust in the good doctor has never been higher. <laughs> Back to California news. In a humanitarian effort to help save California from the last threads of freedom that threatened their communism ethos, LA has authorized the city to cut off electricity to businesses that are defying California lockdown orders. This life-saving measure will help protect California from a potential pandemic of prosperity that experts say could happen if the state were allowed to function in a free and civil way. Critics of California's two-week lockdown that's been going on for over a year cite statistics and reality as evidence against California's prolonged lockdowns. When they compare case rates in the free, non-masked, non-lockdown state of Florida, they see free Florida's case rates are not any higher than communist California's case rates. Not only are these true statistics false, but believing they'd make a difference in California policy presupposes that California's lockdown still has something to do with the virus. In hopeful California news, it looks like California will be getting even more california as California school districts now have in their curriculum a chant to an Aztec cannibalistic murder god. Why? It'd probably be racist not to. Teachers must lead students through a chant to the cannibalistic god. In lock ek which means you are the other me. Charming. They'll also be chanting to another Aztec god named, however you say this. The Aztecs brutally sacrificed hundreds of thousands of people to this god. And in turn, California will be lovingly sacrificing hundreds of thousands of children in their latest freedom-based mind control mandatory opportunity. This just in! The people in power thinking of this stuff are probably relieved Epstein's still dead. You might remember last year that Epstein, pictured here on the left, committed suicide by using another man's hands to strangle himself while in his jail cell with the security cameras securely turned off. Many elites were definitely not letting out a big exhale when Jeffrey fell ill with a broken neck so their agenda of quadrupling their net worth in 2020 could continue as planned. In other news, three months after Epstein was suicided, a worldwide pandemic began. That's the chronology of that. And we at the media have an intense investigation going into the sequence of events, which mostly involves us looking the other way. 
So far, our investigation has found no correlation. Portland is in the news again, as peaceful protesters have set a federal courthouse on fire. In a very tranquil and loving way, I might add. Antifa, which the 46th president of the United States has said is just an idea, not an organization, is at it again. Our fire marshal correspondent in Portland has said, this is the first time a building has ever been set on fire by an idea. In the recent riots in Portland, a police officer was also peacefully punched in the face. In a continued non-suspicious way of handling things, all the members of the Antifa arson team were left without worry of going to jail, except one. Why is that? Well, because they're peaceful protesters, and if you question their peaceful ways, you'll either be hit with physical violence, emotional violence, or both. And now we have a question from a viewer. Hi JP, I watch the show every day. Is whoever's trying to take over our country using Antifa as a terrorist organization to help with the takeover? <laughs> we say probably not, because Antifa's just an idea. Don't be stupid. After the recent violence, the mayor of Portland is asking for $2 million to refund the police. Last year, the mayor defunded the Portland police by $15 million in response to sensible demands made by screaming people with purple hair. But Portland has found that by defunding the police, surprisingly, crime has gone up. There have been 20 homicides in Portland this year compared to just one homicide last year at this time. Has defunding the police worked? Well, the murder rate is 20 times higher. So we say, yes, it's the politically correct thing to do. It's fact-checkingly true that defunding the police works to reduce crime. Just like how you can solve hunger by taking away people's food. That's it for today's special report on California and Portland. Things have never been better. <laughs> or reported to you more honestly. I'm going to drink myself to sleep now. <laughs> Good night. And there's just one more piece of breaking news. I've got new merch. <laughs> I've got an all new website with my new merch on it, variety of different shirts and tumblers that are all freedom from fear, freedom oriented ethos. I think you'll love them. You can check out everything I've got to offer. If you like something, feel free to grab it at the website. And in the meantime, I wish you a very free day.